I mean, as the many worlds interpretation of quantum physics says that at every extremely small microsecond, and much smaller than that, the world branches into huge numbers of different worlds, each one that continues on their own. I think I'm just in this world, but I'm really in trillions and trillions of worlds, even within the time I'm talking now. How is that possibly conceivable? So the many worlds interpretation of quantum theory is a little bit far out, in my view, because, as you said, at every minute amount of time, the world, which is many worlds, branches out into almost an infinity of possibilities that actually manifest somewhere else. Where is somewhere else? Parallel universes or parallel worlds. That means in reality there are these almost infinite number of real worlds that are branching out. Absolutely. In reality, in fact, the many worlds interpretation is based on an extreme realism or taking the wave function, which describes a quantum system, as being absolutely real in all its determination. So the wave function basically gives a probability where, say, a particle may be at any given moment. So we don't know it's here. We know there's a probability that it can be anywhere. Uh, if it's at the other side of the universe, the probability is extremely small, but there's still a probability. So it, it's a, it's a, that's the wave function. Correct. So what you're saying is that the realistic interpretation of that uh, makes each part of that a real world as opposed to a, a probability for a one world. Is that right? The, what the wave function, in fact, is, is nothing more than a prescription of possible yeah. outcomes. Okay. It's based, as you said, in probability theory. So it says, okay, uh, if I make an observation under these conditions, I can get this, 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 and this, and this, all right, to be simplistic about it. That's the wave function. Now, what happens in reality when you make a measurement is that out of its many possibilities, only one, and this is the so-called collapse of the wave function, which means that all these possibilities now become one reality. The many words interpretation says, ah, all the other possibilities also manifest. Where? Somewhere else. So I find it a little bit incredulous or a little bit hard to swallow and take an extremist realist viewpoint of the wave function. So what is your view? My view would follow more Bohr's as change or improved by von Neumann, John von Neumann interpretation, which basically says that the wave function is a way for us to deal with the world we observe. It's just a prescription, as I said, that the possible outcomes are there. And when you do certain things, you may get this or you may get that. And this, you may say, well, why don't you just get one? Because of indeterminacy or absurdity. You can get one or the other. Indeterminacy in quantum theory says that you can know everything with 100% certainty. So the wave function actually gives you a prescription of many possibilities but only one manifests in the world. Some would say there's other interpretations that there could be hidden variables that take this indeterminate system and at some deeper level actually does create a deterministic system where you can know things, it's just that, that we, don't, we, we can't get down to that level with our capabilities right now. So, uh, as you said, the uh, hidden variables, uh, the greatest proponent and great physicist of that uh, was David Bohm. And it actually deals with information in situations where you have uh, entanglement. Or let's say the two particles fly apart, but they're still related to each other. Okay? Mm -hmm. So in that situation, it is perhaps as if uh, one of the particles has some other yeah. kind of information yeah. hidden somewhere yeah, right. under its pocket somewhere. <laughs> right. So when it flies away, it pulls out a card and says, well, there." are there you are, and what's your card? Well, they were hidden there, but the two cards were related from the very beginning. That's hidden variables. Mm. And it's also a realistic interpretation, in this case, of pathways in space and time. Mm. There are actually now experiments that have shown that the hidden variables probably does not work. 
And so if that doesn't work, you're left to the uh, interpretation of Bohr von Neumann and Menas. Well, and I would say probably a lot of physicists yes. who follow the quantum uh, right. paradigm of uh, and that realistic. And that yields its own uh, difficulties because of entanglement and uh, uh, things that are so strange to our way of thinking that it seems to totally distort reality. That no, there's no time between com information of, of between particles at, at the opposite sides of the universe. They still can be related to one another. That that just flies in the face of everything we know. It flies in the face of everything we know from everyday experience. Yeah, everyday experience. However, we can say that maybe everyday experience is not what really is there, and maybe what our senses are picking up is not the complete truth. The argument for the multi-worlds interpretation is that it's an ultra-realist approach to the wave function, this probability. It says that if you take it seriously, you have to come to a multi-world, even though it's bizarre. You take that probability wave seriously, that's where you have to go. Yes, correct. As you said, it is a super realism, or what I call extreme realism. It says the wave function is real in all its possible outcomes. So when you have a measurement made and you pick a particular outcome, the other outcomes also manifest somewhere else, but they don't manifest in this universe. Yeah. So that's what I call extreme realism. You it know, could be true. You know what we have here? We have every interpretation, you've given three, there may be more, is absurd. Every, every one of them. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, actually there is a, a more recent one where uh, they look at the wave function itself as being a physical object. Not even probability, but actually physical. And that is, if you follow that, if you want to be realistic about that, actually it says something profound about the universe which is very, very strange. Even worse than <laughs> the von Neumann Bohr, you know, view that I prescribe to. Namely, that everything in the universe is entangled from the get-go. Even if they're not related to begin with, they are entangled together. That's very strange, actually. So the fact that every interpretation of the wave function, which we know to be true because of its extreme predictivity, every one is absurd, what, what is the implications of that? Well, the implications would be that if we take perhaps the less extreme of all these views, which I prescribe to, is that we are living in a noetic universe, in a mindful universe, as Henry Stapp says, in a universe that actually mind plays a big role.